The U.S. has made clear that when he comes to South Korea later this week, President Trump has no plans to meet with North Korea's Kim Jong-un. But there still seems to be hope that a summit will take place at some point. Our E.G. Wan has our top story. Along with the renewed anticipation of North Korea and the U.S. resuming their denuclearization talks, comes hope for a third Pyongyang-Washington summit. And President Trump's comments to reporters at the Oval Office on Tuesday fueled speculation it might happen sooner rather than later. Just a nice letter back and forth. He wrote me a beautiful letter on birthday. It was my birthday. As you know, last week he wrote me a beautiful letter. I thought it was very nice. And just two friendly letters. We get yes. along very well. No and, mention of another meeting? Uh, maybe there was, but we, uh, you know, at some point we'll do that. Getting along very well. He's not doing nuclear testing. Unlike in the past, a top-down approach is being pursued in a bid to solve the denuclearization issue. And on June 12 last year, the leaders of the longtime foes finally met for their first sit-down in Singapore. There, they agreed on the four pillars of establishing their ties and achieving denuclearization. On top of the hard talks, the two leaders also engaged in various activities that allowed them to get to know each other on a personal level, including a one-on-one -on -one sit down just with their translators and a leisurely stroll. But things did not go so smoothly after that as the two sides faced the critical issue of who does what first and in exchange for what. Despite a number of working level talks after Singapore, their negotiations hit a wall. And the two leaders stepped in, meeting again about eight months later, this time in Hanoi. Both leaders seem to have thought they could persuade their counterpart into taking the next step in implementing their deal. But neither side budged. Kim was firm on the U.S. lifting sanctions on the North's economy in exchange for the dismantling of the regime's Yongbyon nuclear facility. Trump said Yongbyon had to be dismantled and the North had to provide an overall and detailed roadmap for denuclearization. Since then, no significant talks have been held, at least not publicly. Whether this week's series of summits between Presidents Moon Jae-in, Trump and Xi Jinping can revive the momentum for dialogue remains to be seen. But there are concerns that working-level talks need to first pave the way in order to prevent the same mistakes made in Hanoi. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.